So you're curious what Entop Platform is all about? Well, I'll show you in less than five minutes. I'll give you three important characteristics of Entop Platform, and I'll do it in the context of lightweighting a few parts, a couple of impeller variations. Now, to start things off, I want to take one of these bodies and throw it into a variable to just make it a little bit easier for doing my modifications and operations down the road. Now, starting off, I want to create a shell of this model, which is generally a complex operation to do in traditional systems. We do it rather easily because of our robust platform. I'll put a distance in there. And in a couple seconds, this model is shelled out. Now, that is impressive in and of itself. I'll go into a cross section after changing the color to make it easier to see and you'll see the shelling here. Now, where this is robust is that operations never fail. Geometry operations never fail. If I change that value to an offset of 10 on the inside, yeah, that's impressive, nothing failed, but let's just do something that's kind of ridiculous. I'll put an offset of 10 to the outside. An operation like that generally should fail in a model of this complexity, but it doesn't in NTOP platform because of the robust engine behind the scenes. That's the first important part. The second is the ability to make fast iterations. Now I've changed that back to a shell of two because we're going to use that in a moment. And I want to put some kind of a lattice structure inside that. But first let's just turn the whole thing to a lattice structure. I'll put a few options in, the sizing of it, the thickness. And you'll see a, a simple cubic lattice show up on the screen momentarily. This is a complex operation in and of itself. There's a lot going on there. But the point here is that when I want to make changes, it's pretty simple to do. Click of a button and I can explore what those different infill types, what those different lattices will look like. Some of the more popular ones on the screen. And maybe I'll go in and select a triangular honeycomb and see what that looks like. Very different model, but it comes up pretty fast. Now let's go back to a simple cubic and let's start to wrap all this together because I want to take that shell and I want to take that lattice and integrate those two. We have a button for doing that. So this is going to merge them all together. I'll rename this final so it's a little bit easier to see. And as before, uh, let's go into a cross section and see what this looks like. So you get what you'd expect, a beautiful lattice on the inside uh, with the shell of two millimeters on the outside. Now let's take this a step further because what you thought you just saw is me building a part on the screen, but I actually didn't. I have built a reusable workflow. What if the version of this changes something up upstream? I can take that new version, maybe from a CAD tool of your choice, let it go through the repeatable algorithms, the intelligence that I built in this tree, let it go through, and the same operations should be able to regenerate themselves on this new model. To prove it out, let's go into that cross section and see what happened. You have the new model and the same lattice as before with the two millimeter shell on the outside, but something very different on this version I want to draw your attention to. Let's zoom in somewhere on that cross section and take a look at the lattice structure. If you notice between the lattice and the skin, you've got radii all around. That's a complex operation to do in traditional systems here. It's just a button. It is just an option that we put in the merging of that all together right there, a blend radius of two millimeters. Those are the kind of necessary things you need in NTOP platform to create robust models and repeatable workflows. Now, the final thing, the icing on the cake is, what if it's not a version of a model? What if it's a brand new file, something that has nothing to do with the original? We'll take a look at this model. It's a mesh format. We do have mesh editing capabilities to remesh the surface and clean that up a little bit. But I want to take this brand new model, and you guessed it, dump it right into that variable so that the algorithms and those blocks feed down and those operations happen on the geometry. Let's go into a cross section as soon as this is done and see what that looks like. Let me change the color first. But as you would expect, the lattices are on the inside just as before. This is a repeatable workflow that I just created, so I've captured intelligence. I can pass this on to other models. With these repeatable workflows or procedures, you might call them, variables that you want to expose to someone else so that they can make changes if you want to lock things down or expose certain parameters like the lattice thickness, someone can go in and change that to whatever value they want, and you see the updates happen live. So there you have it in just a few minutes. Three important characteristics of NTOP platform creating unbreakable geometry so there's no bottlenecks anymore, fast iterations to try out new ideas and eventually test them, and not building just a part, 
but knowledge capture building a process. That's what NTOP Platform is all about. Hey, thanks for watching.